One of Idaho's biggest advocates for the safe haven law is Suzanne Hobbs. More than a decade ago, she worked with Senator Bart Davis to bring the safe haven law to the gem state. Now at 5 o'clock, we showed you the signs that were posted today on ambulances and safe haven buildings. New at 6, local news 8 reporter Taja Davis met this woman behind the cause and found out why she pushed so hard for this law. No woman needs to face attempted murder charges or murder charges. That doesn't need to happen. We do not need to have not one more baby left to die in Idaho. 16 years ago, Suzanne was a news reporter who received a tip that a newborn baby was abandoned. Left in a dumpster on Gladstone. And so my photographer and I rushed over there and we saw a very tragic scene of a baby being taken out um, by police officers and the funeral home folks. And it was an image that I'll never forget. An image she kept with her while rallying for the safe haven law to come to Idaho. And with the National Safe Haven Alliance, she was able to create a sign as a beacon. There is no name, no shame, no blame. If you safely surrender your newborn within the first 30 days of birth in Idaho, you can bring your baby to a place like the Idaho Falls Fire Department, hand the child off to an EMS provider or a fireman or anyone that's here in the building, and you can walk away. No questions asked. She says this sign represents a safe place for both the baby and the person dropping the baby off with no fear of prosecution. She's played an extremely important role from the very first call that she responded to or that she covered in the media to raising public awareness, uh, writing her book, and then bringing the signage program into the state and really working to raise public awareness is extremely important. And 26 newborns have been safely surrendered since the safe haven law passed in Idaho 15 years ago. In Idaho Falls, I'm Taja Davis. Haven signs will be posted at Eastern Idaho Medical Center and all the Idaho Falls Fire Departments. Suzanne is also uh, kicking off the release of her children's book. It's called The Hungry Snake, and proceeds from her book will go to the National Safe Haven Alliance.